Jose Ramirez and Tim Anderson square up a breakdown. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick. I'm Damo. And yeah, this one's by John Boy. We've been waiting for John Boy to put this yeah. out. Fantastic creator. We know that a lot of you have enjoyed our previous reviews of John Boy's videos. Yeah. This sounds like an absolute must watch. People are saying that it's replacing the Odor Batista incident, which is just crazy yeah, because I feel crazy. like that's like folklore on this channel yeah. now. Follows us everywhere we go. So yeah, we loved it. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. Yeah, let's go. Like well, that's what let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Guardians, White Sox. Abreu's up at the plate. 2-2 is the count. 5-0 is the score. There's a runner on second. There's one out. It's the bottom of the sixth. None of that matters. This breakdown is brought to you by <laughs> AG1. And, and Tim Anderson had been pissing people off before this. The shortstop for the White Sox. He pissed the Guardians off before this. You know, just lots of trash talk and lots of frustration built up. Sends one into right field. Rounds first, going for two. Now, safe. And Tim Anderson stands over him. Not for that long, but like I said, like there's already been tensions. And he kind of looks at him. He says, hey, you going to get off me, dude? You going to get off me? Let me up. You know? Get up. Hey, dude. Don't stand on top of me. Now, the ump sees what's happening. He says, hey, guys, be cool about it. Be cool. He says, hey, <laughs> use your head. I'll knock you in the head. I don't know what he said. He pointed at his head. I was <laughs> like, hey, you got big the bases. I was like, hey, get away. Get away. And now they're like, let's fight. Tim Anderson, let's fight. I'll drop my glove. When the ball hits the ground, we're on. Oh, I like this first move from J-Ram right there. Just kind of shuffles a little bit like, yeah, let's do it. And then he pauses. He says, wait, I thought you were going to fight. He says, come on, throw a punch. Ooh, first punch oh. successfully dodged by J-Ram because he's short and then he burrows his head into Tim Anderson's chest. Yeah, he did well to dodge that. Perfect short guy strategy and then just swing wildly. Tim Anderson's going to miss the next it again, right yep. over his head and then Anderson's going to try and throw a left and he's going to miss that as well and J-Ram, he throws Here his right and bam, right to the side of the face <laughs> and Anderson goes down Whoa! <laughs> as J Rams in a headlock and gets pulled away. Wow! Watch the face shake on that. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, he's counter punched him. Good he's man. got him with ear as well. Yeah, he's, he's gone there. Yeah. Wow! Got him good. Bam! We did get him good. Boom! Bang. <laughs> Three punches for Anderson. Wow! One for J Ram. He landed his. Naylor was running out to help his boy, and he just busts through the front lines. He gets right to him, and then he's like, "Oh." Oh, guess I'm not needed. Good luck. And he backs away. And everyone's like, all right, let's be cool. Here we go with the 10,000 arriving. Oh, uh, yeah. I, can't, it, I feel like every time we do say it, it just seems to be with Cleveland because we've had 10 cent beer night, yeah. which turned into an absolute fight fest. We had uh, Bottlegate, oh, Bottle which Gate again was nuts. Cleveland. And there's now this. If we have any more incidents like this from Cleveland, we're going to have to do our own compilation and maybe just call it straight out of Cleveland. <laughs> because I feel like there are so many so of these many that are coming, coming out. out yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was some connection. He didn't even get him right. He got him with these. Yeah. But the fact he, he threw like three punches. He did well the then. He's getting a one, two, three coming in. He's got teammate coming around the corner yeah. and knocking him off balance and he's dodged all three. He's done well. He's short, guys. So he's got under and then come up. Yeah, no, he's done well. Great count hit. Down. Let's be cool. They're as separated as they can be. Everybody's in between them. J-Ram's got this look in his eye like, I didn't want to do that. Why'd you make me do that? I don't like this side of me, man. And Anderson's got a look in his eye like, hey, hey coach, I'm going to need you. Just be still. I'm using you to stand up. <laughs> yeah, nope, need you. And uh, it's all right, J-Ram. He's like, I know. I'm fine. Now, Vaughn, he's trying to take Anderson away. He's going to lock the wrist. <laughs> really secure he's him. Pretending he's pretending that make he a wants... Face like, all right, dude. All right, yep. Okay. Dude. Surely they all both right. get ejected yep. here, right? Come on now. You'd think so, and yeah. And they're like, I got him. I got him. I got him. Vaughn's like, all right, cool. I like how he's pretending he wants more. Like, he yeah, wants more, I know. like. Uh, because people he probably is quite annoyed to be fair his oh. ego is probably taken over because absolute, he's thrown absolute. three punches he's had yeah. an absolute nightmare missed a spot every time and then he's got yeah he's got caught off balance oh, where he was throwing and he's gone he, down he goes in bits right now yeah definitely 100%. this is saving face as best as he can <laughs> yeah Take him. they're trying to walk him back but his legs are just a little bit jelly they're a little bit asleep yeah, spent wow. too long wow. on the toilet looking at his phone gets up he's like, oh, <laughs> they're not working his Not legs have gone, haven't they? Yeah, jelly. They get him to the dugout, and Grandal immediately is like, okay, wait, what? 
more because the White Sox manager was John at Tito, the Guardians manager, and they're fighting with each Comes other. And this kind of is like embarrassing. It's like when you go to your daughter's dance recital, and all of a sudden they're like, "All right, and now now a dance from all the teachers." And you're like, "What? We don't want to <laughs> see you guys dance." And then Grandal, there he is. He's ran right back from the dugout to the middle of the field, and he's just separating on the front lines. Doing the right thing later on. Front lines again with J-Ram. Like, it's okay, man. It's all good. See you later. Nice punch. Let's be cool. <laughs> Something funny I saw was the third baseman for the White Sox. He's running to the front lines, realizes, I don't want to forget my glove in this whole thing. Throws it <laughs> over everyone's head. Guardians guy's like, you know, smart. Smart move, man. He's like, yeah, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to forget it, so I'll just toss it over there. <laughs> right? And then in the second wave, everyone's pushing and pushing and pushing. And Classe on the Guardians gets... He gets pulled back by the starting pitcher, Kopik for the White Sox, and he pushes Kopik back like, hey, dude, don't pull me off. And then Kopik's like, hey, don't push me. And then they go at it for a little bit. And now you got how many guys? One, two, three, four guys holding Kopik back and just Syndergaard holding Classe back. And that was all that was. And this got everyone real riled up that they needed like a whole team to hold them back. And Andrews is holding him back, and his hair looks real sweaty. <laughs> so it reminds me of it reminds me of when you know, like after a fight, something goes on in a boxing ring, yeah, and something happens, and all of a sudden you go from having eight people in the boxing ring afterwards, like the ref, trainer, yeah. and all of that, the promoter, it's to violent. around about. 200 people in the box. I mean, and nobody can move. It's like having a Tetris yeah. all of a sudden. You know, you're moving people around <laughs> the, just to get the places. Fit one in. Yeah, that's what it feels like yeah, on, uh, when this happens in baseball. It feels like all of a sudden it just goes from two or three people to 100. Benches just in clear. like click of a fingers. Coaches get involved. I'd click that quite close to the mic. Sorry if I deafened you with yeah. that. <laughs> Everyone gone. <laughs> and his hair's blue. And J-Ram, the dude who just knocked the dude out, is like, hey, calm down, man. It's good. I didn't want to do what I had to do. And, and you don't need to do what you're going to do. So just be cool about it. Back to the bullpen. Naylor, he's there. He's the front lines guy over there. And then Jimenez is in the middle of this pile. See Ramsey? So to the right is Eloy. And something happens here. I think he gets stepped on or he just maybe he just twists his ankle. But he's going to come him. out. He stayed oh. in the game, but he comes out of the pile just limping. And and that's unfortunate, you know, getting hurt in the pile when you get hurt a bunch. He's dancing. And then he's like, guys, the, I just got hurt. <laughs> guys, I just got hurt. What's going on? I just got hurt. Huh? And then Anderson's going to come back out, and I love this. Vaughn is I like, oh, no, you don't. Sees him. Sees through he the line. Whole, knows he's the move he's going to make. Quarterback's free. No, he's wrapped up. Vaughn had a beat on him the whole way. Locks his wrist again because he knows what he's doing. He's not going to pass him off this time. He's going to walk him all the way down the steps and out of sight. And he's yelling at him like, I passed him off to you guys last time. Now I got to do it again. <laughs> Eloy's like, guys, I got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I got hurt in that pile. I was just in the pile. And I, I, that was pushing never for I got hurt. Graybeard, he doesn't care. J-Ram's standing at second base like he's not going to get brilliant. What will actually happen with this? Because obviously two, they both fists open. They're both doing yeah, a little yeah. dance. You know, went from baseball, a little bit of NHL. Only different, <laughs> different rules in place. Um, would it just be ejections in that scenario, or are there going to be some ramifications? Are there going to be some after effects felt yeah. from this suspensions? Ejected from the game, the umpires are deliberating. Like, what did you see? What did you see? Like, I don't, I don't know. Saw a ton of stuff. Jeremy's like, I'm at second base, right? You're not going to kick me out. And they're like, <laughs> no, you're for sure kicked out. You knocked that yeah, guy 100%. clean out, even if he provoked it. Like, All right, whatever. Look how pissy he is. I didn't want to do that, Jose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. He's never been suspended. He's never been ejected. He's an awesome player, and he's a good guy. And he and he and he takes his AG one. Maybe. Oh, it could be right. Yeah. I think I think it has replaced it. See, it hasn't got the Mr. Potato effect, but it's got a drop down. So in terms of yeah, yeah, I think it, it, it was the three swings that came before it. Before it, that made that one connected swing even better because yeah. he's swinging and swinging and swinging, and he he's the one that gets drawn. Well, each swing and each miss, he's just getting more and more off balance. I mean, and he, he's doing he's doing a dance. He doesn't even realise he's doing. No. So I like the fact that he provoked it as well, and he's the one that got knocked out. I think it's yeah, just like I mean, we obviously we we haven't seen the build up there, but it sounded like from what John Boy was saying that 
he had been provoking yeah, this kind yeah. of thing throughout the game. So whether or not that was true, I don't know. But yeah. I'm going to take John Boy at face value. I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really, really enjoyable watch. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know of any further ones you think we need to have a look at down in the comments. To be fair, it seems like whenever anything happens now, we're getting pinged on Discord within minutes. So yeah, uh, yeah thank you very much for everyone on Discord who made us aware of this one. If you're not on Discord yet, what are you doing? Get yeah, on there. It's not acceptable. <laughs> Nah, he's, he's had a few. But um, <laughs> yeah, we hope you enjoy. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next one.